Hello, welcome to The Grace of Thrones. If this is your first time. <laughs> and if this is not, welcome back. I appreciate your support. Hope you guys like the new setup. I've been painting and doing all this good stuff. Um, I get, I love to get festive during the holidays. You know, I've got my little one. And it's good, uh, you know, to change up the colors and the bright, bright colors into your atmosphere. All right, so there could be some adversity. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest for someone else, all right? All right, so I accept challenges. Mm, so you've been dealing with some challenges. Well, the best way to face this adversity or the adversities is to learn from them. And how you learn is you accept it for what it is. Mm -hmm. So, I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. And with that comes growth, wanting to expand your consciousness and your mind, being aware of your choices within this space called time, right? Okay, um, balance. Balance is key, baby. You know, you got all these plans, all these projects, all these dreams. What about balance? Uh, justified balance. So I bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and I do so without judgment. So as you balance yourself, you're not going to judge yourself. Because the more you grow, the more you realize it is discipline that's going to take you to where you need to. Right? I can accomplish what I set my mind to do, so you know what to do. Set your mind and get to it. Stay with it. Mind over matter is what I'm hearing. For the mind can make the body rich in all forms of abundance. All right, but I want you to take pride in yourself, all right? There is a balance, state of pride approach. And, you know, continue to love yourself, all right? I love myself and I see myself in everyone. And you realize there's still a humane, you know, touch to you where you do have hope for humanity's well-being and wellness overall, right? As you are evolving, Right, how the hell keep going to evolve without meditating? So let's get some meditative messages out here. All right, so these are lessons you learn. Adversity, accepting challenges, and then go ahead and grow. Expand your consciousness and balance your life out with discipline and taking pride in all that you did. You done a lot. Just take it in now. You're coming far away now. Three, three, three. What you mean? You gotta do some Tai Chi or recommending some Tai Chi. It's Chinese form of martial arts. Okay, now that involves a series of movements and posture. Yeah. This practice is hundreds of years old. This is done in a controlled, quiet manner while practicing deep breathing. It helps keep the muscles limber and eases stress on your system. So right balance, all right? Take it easy. This is the sleep you're gonna carry the soul that you have in your spirit throughout this mortal journey. Okay, so what about with the growth that you 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 know that you come into and you are coming, still coming into, right? As your mortal being is evolving, right? How about some advice from your from you? in the next 10 years. Imagine yourself in the next 10 years, huh? Imagine you've reached your goals and you're truly happy inside and what advice would your future you give to you now? 444. Four, four. Do it, baby, do it, baby, do it, baby. <laughs> That's all I'm hearing. All right, you can do it. You can do it, baby. Remember, say the last dance for those that you know about that. Go ahead and smile. Balance life with a smile, all right? 
Laughter is always good for the soul. Sit quietly and comfortably. Close your eyes. Take deep benefits from that, uh, deep breaths, excuse me, with the benefit of taking deep breaths. From down deep inside and exhale. Repeat three times, I am happy to be here. I'm happy to be alive and I'm happy to smile at everyone I see today and share this feeling with the world, all right? And with discipline, you're taking the steps. Uh, do not look at all that you have to get done, all the tasks piled up on your daily routine. Take things one task at a time and try to take it one day at a time, baby. And with the pride that you loving yourself and being able to you know, have a love for humanity at the same time, turn all electronics off and this constant input of information causes anxiety. So you gotta give yourself some balance with AI versus natural intelligence during, during, uh, versus just, you know what I'm saying, being uh, without all the extra radiation and all these signals, you know what I'm saying? 5G and all that, but that, cause it, it does contribute to stress, yeah? So what you can do to control that is make it a daily exercise, at least 30 minutes a day you can do that for yourself. Some of you guys will go for a walk. You get, you can get a traditional alarm clock, turn on 30 minutes before you go to sleep. Wake up with your traditional alarm, alarm clock, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let's see what you need to let go, all right? Oh my God, <laughs> hold on. Now I gotta stop playing around, let me tell you why. You need to surrender to the magic of who you are. You see that foot across the room? Surrender to the magic of who you are. See that white unicorn in the back? All right. All right, you are a beautiful flower within the garden of flowers. Many beautiful seeds you've planted and you are, you have inside of you. We all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are magical. You are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that come from just being you. So being your authentic self. Lord have mercy. Surrender to silence. All right, in quiet meditation or contemplation, let go and enter the stillness within. Silence can heal and replenish you. So giving yourself that balance, all right? Look at that. Surrender to the silence, run into the magic, who, who you are from within. and surrender the drama, okay? No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama, okay? Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly because see, you got a sword, a truth inside of you and um, you see the wolves in the back, but you don't got time for that. You don't got time for people to take me to certain levels. So you just surrender to the drama and surrender to your full power on being that leader taking lead in your life. Your life is calling for you to step into your full power rather than playing it small, all right? You've been playing it small. What you're doing, you gotta stop, stop, boom. All right, let's see what's shaping for you. And then, let's talk about what's going on that day. Ooh, it's time to say goodbye to something or some folks, okay? Something is about to end for now. Number 13, it's time to say goodbye for now. Now. It don't gotta be forever, but it's safe for now. All right, little red riding hood. I'm out of victim number three. You ain't a victim, baby. Time to get some harmony into your being, all right? The fairy bee, my life is sweet, the number six. So balance, victory, justice, nurturing yourself, Virgo energy, mother energy, um, feminine energy is, is significant here. Just, you know, a lot of beautiful things, all right? A lot of beautiful things. Don't let the past hold you back, South. No, don't let back. Don't let back. Don't let back. Emotions all running high, super moon. But there's a personal issue that reaches resolution for moon and cancer. Okay. Ooh, at the bottom deck, we have is a win win outcome is forecast for moon and Libra. So going back to justice, all right? Things, and, things will work out for you justfully in the justice field. Energetic clearing. During crisis, the Holy One herself may be emptying you of fear and attachments, preparing you to receive her luminous plan. So be well and be blessed. Yay.